Go quickly to gate seven. I I'm sorry for being late. What's the time, Tom? It's 10 past 8 a.m., sir. Let's get there quickly. The departure time is half past eight. Wait, Mr. Peter, let me tell you. What's more important than going quickly to the gate right now? Our flight is delayed. The new departure time is 9.30. Really? Are you sure? I heard the announcement a half hour ago. Are you sure the delayed flight is ours? 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an announcement that flight NZ245 has been delayed. Your new departure time is half past nine. Thank you. You see? Oh, so lucky. By the way, tell me the schedule during my business trip. Here you are. You'll first have a meeting with the director of Mapbox, Mr. Johnson, this afternoon. What time does the meeting start? Quarter past one. How long will it take place? According to the plan, it's one hour. And then you'll go to the Oriole restaurant to negotiate one more time the latest transaction with Mrs. Emily. Specific time? At seven o'clock. Mrs. Emily likes people who are ahead of time, so I suggest we go there at 6.50. That's fine. What about meeting with the board of directors of the Chicago branch? The meeting will be delayed until the next day due to Mr. Alex's absence. Okay, what time is the meeting going to happen? Early morning. Exactly at 7.30, sir. It seems to be an all-day meeting, right? Definitely, sir. Mr. Peter, an old friend just contacted me and wants to have a private meeting with you tonight. Who? Mr. Adams, sir. Great. Please arrange that meeting. Um, around 8.30 or 9 p.m. After Mrs. Emily's meeting. Yes, right away, sir. Tom, have you got the time? A couple of minutes past nine, sir. It's time to get on the plane. Let's go. Yes, sir. Lily, have you almost finished the report I assigned to you? Almost done. If you find it difficult anywhere, just ask me. Yes, thank you. I'm hesitating about calculating the statistic here. Let me have a look. With this kind of statistic, you should use the method I told you about yesterday. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Oh my god! What happened, Lily? Linda, look outside! Oh! It's getting dark. I think it's just a quarter past five, or 5.30 at least. Lily, do you know what time it is? Wait, I guess it's six o'clock. You're wrong. It's exactly 6.50. Pardon me? Yes, you heard right. Nearly 7 p.m.? Of course. Working so hard that we didn't know the time. It wasn't until I lifted my head that both of us knew that it was nightfall. We're all bees. Busy as bees. Let's go home now? I'll finish the rest of the report. It'll be done soon. So I'll wait for you, and then we'll go home together. No, you don't need to do that, Linda. No problem. I'll wait. Hello, Sophie, my dear friend. Hi, buddy. What's up, girl? Today we have to come back to school. Um, exactly? I'll pick you up. Let me do that. Whatever. What time? What time does the first class begin, Sophie? Half past twelve. So I'll pick you up at ten past twelve. That's fine. Sophie, this evening, one of my friends is holding a party, and I want you to go with me, okay? But I don't know anyone. That's no problem. You can make acquaintance with them gradually. 
Okay, so what time do we get there? The party starts at 8 p.m., so I think we can go to my friend's house at a quarter past seven. Do you want to buy some new clothes or dresses for the party? Sounds good. If so, we have to go by five o'clock. Really? Because going shopping often takes us about an hour and a half. But our class finished at 4.45. No problem. I also have lots of things to do at home after school. How long? About 30 or 40 minutes. So let's just meet at the park near your house. Is that okay? I was just going to say that. Is 5.30 fine? It's up to you. Okay. Oh, sorry, Elsa. I just remembered that I'm going to have a class this evening. What time does it begin and finish? I study for two hours beforehand, and the class starts at half past five. So it finishes at 7.30, right? Yes. I'll wait for you at the park near my house. That's fine, but I'm afraid you'll be late when you wait for me. That's okay. I'll wait for you at 20 to 8. Okay. Thank you, Elsa. I'm going to hang up now. Bye. Goodbye. Good morning, Adam. Hi, how are things? So busy recently. Long time to have coffee with you. All right. Uh, Adam, could you tell me the time, please? I left my watch at home. It's a quarter to nine. Sorry? I mean, it's 8.45. Oh, Adam, would you mind reminding me at half past ten? It's fine. I'll tell you when the clock is 10.30. Thank you so much. Because I have to do something at my office around 10 past 11. You mean 11.10 or 10.50? 11.10. How far is it from your company? About 10 kilometers. If so, I'm afraid you should leave at almost 10.20, not half past 10. I think you're right. Do you know what time it is? It's 5 to 10. So I will leave in 25 minutes. That's right. Henry flies to America from England to attend his friend Michael's wedding. He's curious about the wedding traditions in America, so he discusses with Michael's friend Dave the traditions in England and America. Hi Henry, welcome to America. Thank you so much for being here. It means a lot to Michael. It's my pleasure. This is the first time I attended an American wedding. I'm so excited. Come this way. This is your seat. Thanks. So, I heard that American weddings are different from weddings in England. Couples living in England don't have as many pre-wedding activities as those do in the United States. Really? What activities do you guys have? While we do have bachelor and bachelorette parties, we don't hold bridal showers or rehearsal dinners. Are bachelor or bachelorette parties in the UK different from those in the US? While the party themes in the UK are extravagant, the budget isn't excessive. The average Brit spends about £507 on their weekend pre-wedding parties. In the US, bachelor party attendees spend an average of $738 for the festivities, while bachelorette party attendees spend about 472 The actual ceremony is quite different too. How? In England, the wedding party is usually small. The bride walks down the aisle before her bridesmaids. The groom keeps his back towards the bride as she walks down the aisle. In here, the groom faces the bride for the entire procession. But I think the British tradition is better. That's the tradition we love most. The groom faces away from the bride until she reaches him, and everyone gets to experience their first look. 
How about the bridesmaids and the groomsmen in the UK? Instead of a maid of honor, a bride selects a chief bridesmaid. British bridesmaids sit during the ceremony, while most American bridesmaids stand beside the bride throughout the service. Do the groomsmen give funny toasts like in the US? British wedding toasts are more like roasts. But they're still polite, and the jokes are pretty simple. The speeches also don't take up too much time. In America, it's customary for the best man and the maid of honor to make a short speech, and maybe even one of the parents. That's not something you'll see at British weddings. Only the men tend to make speeches, and the main objective is to embarrass the couple. Have you been to many weddings in your country? Actually, this is the first wedding I attended. I heard that if you're British, the first wedding you attend might be your own. That's right. The British have a strict rule. No ring, no bring. If a couple is not married, the guest's significant other is not invited to the ceremony or reception following. How about close friends and family members that are unmarried? There's a separate reception later at night for close friends and family. Unmarried guests are invited to bring their significant others to this reception. This person has to be truly a significant other, oftentimes engaged, to be invited. In America, we are given an open invitation for a plus one. Is this reception similar to the reception in the US? Dinner is served, with dancing to follow. There is also a bar at the evening reception, not at the morning reception. Lastly, the couple often gives their own toasts to each other and their guests at the evening reception. The evening reception is more intimate, right? Yes, but there's one key difference. If you brought a gift, you'll feel out of place. Really? Yes, gifts are always mailed directly to the couple and never brought to the ceremony or reception. That's a good idea. A big gaudy array of wrapped presents don't exactly make the party any better. I know, when I get married, I'll invite you so you can attend an actual British wedding. Thanks, I'm looking forward to it. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Yes. A lot. But the most memorable one was my best friend's. Who went with you? I went with one of my classmates. Where was the wedding organized? It was held in a restaurant downtown. What did people do at the wedding? They enjoyed the wedding feast, sang, and danced together after giving the couple best wishes of everlasting happiness. What did the bride and groom wear? The bride wore a white wedding gown, while the groom wore a black suit and tie. What was the most interesting ritual at the wedding? Exchanging rings is a ritual I'm quite interested in. Are weddings a special event in one's life in your country? Yes, along with birthdays. Do people in your country get married early? Not really. The average age to get married for women is 27, and for men is 29. What is the ideal age to get married in your opinion? Well... 27 would be my ideal age. Women are most charming and mature at that age, I guess. How have weddings changed recently? The most noticeable change is the reduction of rituals in a wedding. There used to be more steps in a wedding years ago than there are now. Lucas comes back home from college and his little brother Mike wants his advice on living with roommates. Hi Lucas, welcome home. I missed you. Hi Mike, I missed you too. Have you been good to mom and dad? Yes, I have, and I'm so excited for you to come home for this summer holiday. Tell me everything about your college life. Is it fun? Do you have a roommate? It's fun, but also tough. I have a roommate, but I don't like him. We have so much trouble living together. Really? Why? He's sloppy and disorganized. 
We just can't get along, we have nothing in common, and his annoying behaviors are driving me crazy. How bad is he? For example, it's one thing to leave his shoes and socks on his bedroom floor. That is his own private space after all. But he shouldn't be a slob in shared spaces like the kitchen or living room. That's so rude! Did you guys agree to share the house chores? Yeah, but we agreed to pick up after ourselves, and he still leaves dishes in the sink, leaves dirty pots and pans on the stove, and doesn't put away leftovers. Do you guys share the bathroom? Yes, and he leaves dirty clothes and towels in the bathroom, and toothpaste splatter in the sink or on the bathroom mirror all the time. I guess you guys fight a lot, right? Yes, he doesn't respect my schedule. I have an 8 a.m. class every day, but sometimes he comes home at 2 a.m. banging on the door, or sets the alarm at 7 a.m., but never gets up to turn it off. I see. What's his personality like? He is needy, he depends on me for a social life, and even all his emotional support. If he doesn't have other people he can count on or other ways to help himself, it's very exhausting and overwhelming for me. You can set up some limits as to when and how you'll talk to him. And how long you will be around him. Trust me, you will feel so much better. He's also an attention seeker. He can do anything for attention including talking about me behind my back, sharing my personal information with others. You should let him know his behavior is causing problems. Hopefully he'll hear you out and reevaluate his actions. I hope so. Roommates can be lifelong friends, but they can be nightmares. So, what will you do when you come back to your dorm? People usually think moving rooms or changing roommates will be the magic solution to all their problems. But learning how to deal with situations you have with your roomie can benefit you for your entire life. I think roommate problems are mostly caused by miscommunications. And the problem can be solved just by sitting down with a neutral friend and talking things out. You're going to college next year. Remember... Don't let yourself be a bad roommate, and notice bad signs from your roomie soon. Should I share the dorm room with anyone, or live alone? It's nice to have someone who can wake you up when you sleep through your alarm, or bring you soup when you're sick. They might introduce you to a different culture or a new point of view. I may have a roommate who likes to do the same things I do, but you may not have the privacy you're used to and may have to seek out new places, like the library, to get it. If your roommate's habits, personality, or schedule are very different from yours, it can be hard to adjust to living together. That's true. So, what should I do to live harmoniously with my roommate? Communicating often and openly is essential for any successful relationship. Make rules and respect them. For example, you guys agreed that if one of them is trying to study, the other won't blare music and won't record TV shows to watch later. What if we don't agree on something? You'll both have to make some compromises. If you behave politely to your roommate, your roommate is likely to follow your lead. Thanks for your advice and good luck with your roommate. Thanks! I hope we can work it out. Ted and Michael are new roommates, and this is the first day they move in. They want to know each other, to prepare to live life in university together. Hi! I'm Michael. I guess I'm your new roommate. Hi, I'm Ted. Nice to meet you. I just unpacked my stuff. This is my side of the room, and that will be yours. Great. Nice to meet you, too. 
What is your major? I major in physics. How about you? I study law. I want to be an environmental lawyer. Where do you come from? I'm from Texas. That's pretty far from here. I'm from New Jersey. Cool. Anyway, I'll bring a TV, so if it's possible. Can you bring a mini fridge? Okay. Do you have an idea of the kind of dorm decor you want? What's your style? I'm into funky, retro style. I want to hang up posters of rock bands and some famous artists. I like rock music, too. Do you want to coordinate dorm decor? Great. Decorating the room together will be so much fun. And what are your thoughts on chores? We'll split the chores equally according to our study schedule. Most of my classes are in the morning, so I'll do the chores at noon. Great. And when I get back at night, I'll do the rest. How do you feel about guests and socializing in the dorm? I have a girlfriend, and if you're okay with it, she'll hang out in our room occasionally. Sure, I'm cool with that. Just tell me before she gets here. Thank you for understanding. Are you taking any extracurriculars or playing sports on campus? I'm currently in the environmental club. I'm planning on joining the soccer team. Do you play soccer? I like watching soccer, but I don't play. What do you like to do in your spare time? Do you want to watch TV shows together? Sure, I want to apply for a part-time job in my spare time. It would be fun if we went together. That's a good idea. It's a good opportunity to have more experiences. Are you planning on going home a lot? I only go back to my parents' house for the holidays. I want to go home every weekend, so you can invite your friends over on the weekend. Great. And how do you like to study? I like listening to music when I study. Do you mind? I like studying in silence, but it's okay. We can schedule our study time differently, or I can go to the university library. Okay. And what are you planning to do over summer break? I don't have any plans yet. How about you? I'll go to the beach to my friend's party. You can come with me if you want. That sounds fun. We'll need to relax after this semester. That's right. We'll have so much fun living together. I'm so excited to start our university life together. Oh my gosh, look who it is. How have you been, Ken? Well, if it isn't my old buddy Lily, I'm great, thanks. And you? So good. Hey man, what have you been up to? Go to work or not yet? I'm still studying photography. And you're still studying journalism, right? Still true, my friend. <laughs> You've been interested in writing since you were a little girl. Absolutely true. Writing is my kind of thing, Ken. Besides writing, what else are you into? Hmm. Reading books is my cup of tea. People always call me a bookworm. Oh, bookworm girl. <laughs> are you fond of something related to logic? Let me think about that for a few minutes. What about you, Ken? I know you're really interested in photography. A hundred percent exactly. I've had the passion since I was a child. Oh, let me guess some other activities you might like. Is that okay? Sure, go ahead. Traveling, right? Yes, I'm an avid traveler. That is my second favorite activity after photography. Do you like traveling? I do. I often travel when I need to boost my mood to write. Lily, I have one question for you. Do you think I'm crazy about playing logic games? <laughs> I don't think so. In my mind, you're known for being down to earth because you love photography. <laughs> I knew your answer in advance. Everyone said that, but actually, I really like playing logic games. Really? That's unbelievable, Ken. As for me, I wasn't gifted with a sense for logic. Most people are surprised when I say that. 
Besides photography, I have a special liking for math, so I often play math games to relax. Sounds irrational, right? <laughs> a little. To cheer me up, I usually listen to music. It's my kind of thing. I'm a big fan of K-pop. So, do you like collecting cards or albums? Always. Also, I fancy collecting stamps. Really? It seems we have an activity in common. You like it too? Collecting stamps? It's been a long time since I've known a person who has the same hobby as me. Hey Lily, are you free now? Hmm, yes. No hectic schedule today. What's up, Ken? I want to go out to take some photos with you to save the date that we met each other. Cool, let's make some mutual memories. Okay, let's go. Hi, are you Jenny? Yes, I'm Jenny. Hi, do I know you? I'm Dylan. I'm your brother's friend. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're that guy from work that Steve told me about. Nice to finally meet you. Come in. Steve will be home in about 20 minutes. Thank you. Your house is so lovely. Thanks. Would you like some tea? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. So, Dylan, do you play any sports? I love football and golf. I go to the golf course every weekend to practice. Oh, I play golf too. Can I come with you next week? I need to improve my golf game. Great, it's a date! Ha ha ha, you're funny. Steve told me that you liked horseback riding, right? That's so cool! Yes, my family owns a farm, so I had to learn how to ride a horse at a very young age. Well, what about you? I'm pretty keen on reading. I'm not really an extrovert kind of girl. I just want to stay inside reading my novels. Oh, I'm definitely an extrovert. I like going out with friends and meeting new people. I go to clubs almost every night, and I also go to cooking class and dance class on the weekend. Oh, interesting. I prefer staying at home to going out, but I'm in a volunteer organization at my school. We organize events for children in our town once a month. That's great. Oh, I see a beautiful piano. Do you play the piano? Yes, both me and Steve know how to play. I also like writing music, but I'm just starting to learn it. Wow, you are so talented. I would like to see one of your songs on the music chart one day. <laughs> Thanks. And I think Steve is home. Oh, hi, Steve. I was just talking to your sister about how amazing she is. Your friend Dylan here is such a good guy, too. But we have an appointment for a haircut at 4 p.m., so we need to go now. Okay, bye, guys. And it was nice meeting you, Dylan. See you later, Jenny. Bye, Jen! Hello. Hello! How was your day? Fabulous. Fabulous? Fabulous is excellent. I had a fabulous day, too. Going shopping? Yes, Clara and I shopped all day. Look at my new nail polish. And this blouse is new. It looks divine on me, don't you think? It's very beautiful. And I have a skirt to go with it. And a pair of boots. Lovely. Of course, Clara is jealous. She says I spend too much money on clothes. Hi, girls. It's getting cold out there. I think it's going to rain. Oh, I hope not. Had a productive day, Layla? Yes, delightful. And how was your interview, Rose? Uh, productive. I start work on Thursday after school. 
Congratulations. Well done, darling. And when do you finish work? My shifts are from three to seven. And what will you do at the store? I put the videos on their shelves, and I find information on the computer for the customers. I love movies. Do you know what my favorite movie is? No. What is your favorite movie? Butterfield Eight. Well, any movie with Liz Taylor. I don't know it. Layla watches it a lot. Clara has the video. Oh, I would like to see the movie too. You will love it. Liz wears the most brilliant clothes, and Lawrence Harvey. Oh, what a man! Do you like it, Liam? It's a bit old for me. I prefer science fiction and fantasy stories. When I finish my course, I'd like to try painting sets for films. Oh, that sounds exciting. Speaking of clothing, do you have a warm coat, Rose? This is my coat. Oh, you will die of cold in that coat. You will really need a warmer coat soon, Rose. It gets very cold in London, not sunny like Barcelona. Madrid. We might get some snow at Christmas. Snow. That will be a new experience for you. Yes. How wonderful! You don't have school tomorrow. Let's go shopping. Okay, let's go shopping. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can I have my bill, please? I'm checking out. Which room is it? Room four twenty-five. Did you have anything from the mini bar last night? Yes. Mineral water. Here you are. How would you like to pay? American Express. Thank you. Okay. Can you sign here, please? Thank you. Would you like me to call a taxi for you? No, thanks. Do you need any help with your luggage? No, I'm I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Have a good trip, Mr. Ryder. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Hi, Jane. It's Layla. I'm really sorry, but the traffic this morning is terrible. I'm going to be very late. Okay. I think the best thing for you is to take a taxi to the station and then get the train to the airport.、Uh, no problem. Okay, I'll call the taxi. Well, thanks for everything. No, listen. I'll meet you at the airport. We can say goodbye there. All right. Where can we meet? At the information desk. Okay. See you there. Bye. Excuse me. A、uh, change of plan. Would you call me a taxi, please, to the station? Hello. Sorry, I can't take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Beep. Hi, Layla. This is Jane. Where are you? I'm at the information desk. My flight leaves in forty minutes. Jane, Jane. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, don't worry. I'm just happy you got here. Come on, you're gonna miss your flight. Wait a minute. Are you gonna come to the conference in California? Am I going to see you again? The plane's going to leave without you.、Uh, Layla. I asked my boss this morning, and he said yes. I can go. Oh, great! I don't have your home phone number. Don't worry. I'll email it to you tomorrow. This is the final call for all passengers on flight BA two seven eight to San Francisco. Please proceed immediately to gate twelve.
Goodbye, Layla. Thanks for everything. Goodbye, Jane. Have a safe trip. See you in California. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Where are you arriving from? From London. What's the purpose of your visit? Business. I'm here for a conference. How long are you staying in the U.S.? A week. Where are you staying? In San Francisco, at the Pacific View Hotel. Do you know anybody here? Yes, Jane Ryder. Is he family or a friend? He's a colleague and a friend. Do you have his phone number? Yes, his mobile is two four six eight one three five seven nine. Mm -hmm. Is this your first visit to the U.S.? Yes, it is. Enjoy your stay in San Francisco. Thank you. Layla, hi. Hi, Jane. You look great. You too. How are you? I'm fine. How was the flight? Long, eleven hours. Oh, you must be really tired. Yes, I couldn't sleep at all. The people next to me had a baby with them. Oh. Oh, what's the time here? I need to change my watch. It's seven in the evening. It's three in the morning for me. Okay, I'm gonna take you right to the hotel, and you can rest. Fine. Hmm. Sorry. You are going to love San Francisco. I'm so pleased you came. Me too. It's great to see you again. Come on, my car's in the parking lot. Let's go. Good evening, ma'am. How can I help you? Good evening. I have a reservation. My name is Layla Gray. I'm here for the MTC conference. Just a minute. Here it is, Miss Gray, for six nights. That's right. Okay, Miss Gray. Here's your key. You're in room four hundred and nineteen on the fourth floor. Thank you. What time is breakfast? From seven to nine in the Pavilion Restaurant on the sixth floor. Thanks. Where's the lift? The elevators are over there. Thanks. Do you need any help with your bag? Yes, please. Hello, reception. Hello, this is room four hundred and nineteen. How can I help you? I have a problem with the air conditioning. It isn't working, and it's very hot in my room. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll send someone up to look at it right away. Thank you. Room server, how can I help you? Hello, this is room four nineteen. Can I have a tuna sandwich, please? White or whole wheat bread? Whole wheat, please. With or without milk? Without. French fries or salad? Salad, please. Do you want anything to drink? Yes, a diet coke. With ice and lemon? Just ice. I'll be there in five minutes, ma'am. Thank you. Repair teacups. Repair air. Air. Hello, darling. What about the air? Um. Uh. Air. Airline. Airplane. Oh, these are new words you're learning at school. Uh. Yes, we are learning words about travel. That's useful. Are your teachers nice? 
Yes, they're very nice. Splendid! What are you doing? I'm practicing the airplane. You're pretending to be... I'm pretending to be on an airplane. Oh, that sounds fun. Can I pretend too? Please, my teachers want me to practice. Okay, well, I can be the glamorous lady at the check-in desk. You'd be the customer. Next, stand here. Can I have your ticket, please? Here it is. And your passport. Here's my passport. Thank you. Do you have any bags to check in? I have this bag. That can go with you on board as carry-on. Okay, carry-on. Now, darling, do you prefer the window or aisle? Sorry? Your seat. The aisle or window? Oh, I'd like the window seat, please. All right, here's your boarding pass. You will be boarding at 1020, gate 11. Have a nice trip. Thank you. Good girl. Very good. Thank you. Where is your trip to? Um, Los Angeles? Well, then I must be the customs officer. Customs? When you arrive in Los Angeles, they check your passport. Oh, yes, yes. So, I'm the gorgeous customs officer. You're the traveler. Name, please? Mary Fuentes. Can you spell that? F-U-E-N-T-E-S. What's the purpose of your visit? Business or pleasure? Uh, pleasure. I'm here on holiday. How long are you staying? Six weeks. And where are you staying? I always stay with Brad Pitt. Mary, now keep practicing speaking. I'll go buy food and cook dinner. Okay, bye. Is that Britannia shop? Can you repair a ceramic vase? Oh, thank you. Where is your shop? Could you say that again? 19A Britannia Street, near King's Cross. Uh, I'm sorry, what does tube mean? Oh, the train. The underground. Yes. No, could you say that again? Between King's Cross Road and Gray's Inn Road. Thank you very much. Oh, wait. Hello? Yes, what time do you close? Oh dear, six? Thank you. Goodbye. I have to go there before my shift. Hello? Oh, hello, Eric. Yes, I'm looking forward to tonight. Um, where do you want to meet? Queensway? What time? That's okay. I will come from work. 
I finish at 7. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye! You sound happy. Oh, yes. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, of course. Are you going to meet Eric tonight? Uh, yes. We arranged to meet at a restaurant in Queensway. Do you know how to get there? Does the bus go there? Yes. You can catch the 928 going towards Golders Green. Then, at Notting Hill Gate, take the 94 bus towards Piccadilly. That sounds very difficult. Are you coming home after work? No, I'll go directly from work. I think you should come here, and I'll help you get dressed. And it won't take long from here. We're meeting at 8.30. Well, then take a cab. A cab? A mini cab? A taxi? Oh, a taxi. Do you think Harry's having a good time in Brussels? Boulogne? Oh, yes, I'm sure he is. Boulogne! Yes, I adore everything French. David and I have such fond memories of Paris. I would like to go to Paris. Oh, you will! Maybe soon. For your honeymoon. You know, Harry speaks fluent French. I need to find the right man. Well, don't look too far. Okay, Layla. Here's your cup of tea, Layla. Oh, thank you. Leave it at the table for me. Mm -hmm.